Week eight, day two, when we continue our journey through Leviticus. Again, we see a lot of laws that center around what it means to be clean or unclean. Now, again, we're not talking just hygiene here, but the cleanliness laws were what it was that we could, that we needed to be in order to approach God in worship. Specifically today, we see a lot of laws that uh, center around women's biological processes. It's for this reason that for a very long time, people had difficulty accepting the fact that women could, in fact, be pastors or leaders in worship. And yet we know that because of Christ and the work of sacrifice and the sacrificial cleaning that Christ did, that these many laws don't apply now and today. But they did at a time and they still continue to impact people's ideas of what women can and cannot do in worship. Well, I want you to think about this in terms of how detrimental these rules can be, these laws can be, when they are put in place and keeping women from worshiping God, even if it's not in a position of authority. If we look at this, we can really see how this works out in the gospel story, uh, Mark chapter 5, verses 24 through 34, the woman with an issue of blood. According to these laws, she should not touch anybody or anything uh, because she would make them unclean as well, unable to participate in worship. And if she has an illness like this, it would have gone on for quite some time. It not just separated her from worshiping God, but it also separated her from any family and friends whom she loved, because if they were to touch her, they would be made unclean as well. And so we see that um, she is rather bold in going through a crowd uh, where it would be un, uh, uh, almost un- impossible to not touch other people and then to touch the hem of Jesus's robe in hopes for healing that she had never been able to uh, get from doctors or anyone else. And the amazing thing is that we see that the cleanliness, the healing, the power, the life of Jesus actually goes and flows to her, restoring her, not just her body, but also her relationships and her ability to worship in the temple with with others so that she might proclaim God's greatness. That's a wonderful thing. And I hope that we remember that even when we're not feeling 100%, that we have a God who did the work to bring us into relationship, not just with him, but with others by making us clean, making us whole now and always.